hey, you saw Illinois this weekend. Uh, give me your take kind of where they're at now, Rob, now that they've had three weeks or so with Terrence yeah. Shannon back. Like, do you feel much better? And, and you can also break down Coleman Hawkins' uh, social media game if you'd like as well. That's an interesting uh, thing there. Um, I, I, I think uh, I, I like Illinois. You know, I, I think that they're kind of finding their way with Shannon back in the lineup. He was phenomenal uh, in the in the win at Maryland. They still do some things late game that make you really scratch your head. And, and I'll I I come back to the game in Northwestern. Think about the way they imploded late against Nebraska. Uh, there's a couple others where they have not. Cl- oh, Michigan State. The Michigan State game. They go from up six or seven to down five in in the matter of like two and a half minutes. So oh, there there's still some late game things. And there was a play that swung the game. Coleman Hawkins saved a ball. Through like, think about when you were playing 500 as a kid and you throw a pass and he throws it back towards Maryland's basket to half court. It gets stolen and Marcus Damask makes just an incredible play. Hawkins goes, I think when he saved it, he fell down. So he gets back up. Damask gets the stop. They throw it down four point swing and and a five point swing. It was an and one. So that kind of changed that. That was the game there. Play the game. And you know, that's that could have went the other way easily. You save the ball going to the other end where Jameer Young could have easily scored that, and it's Maybe catastrophic. Lose. Might lose. Yeah. You maybe lose the game. Um, so there's still some late game things. I still think they need to guard better. They have not been as they, they just aren't sound scouting report wise. They mess things up where you're like, that that can't be what the plan is, right? Um, but I like their talent, man. I, I think and, and Damask is a really good player. Shannon has has just been a beast here. I mean, it's been 30 point games and, and the not way he played shooting it like he did before his suspension. He made five. He made right. five against Michigan. Um, I'm trying to he yeah, he was one for seven against, but he had 27 points. I mean, he he was he got to the line 16 times. In transition, he's just a monster. You know, yeah. he he just the rules are set up to where it's gonna probably either be a foul or a basket every time. Um but yeah, a good okay. win. A place they haven't won. They haven't won there since 2011. No, so are, are you 11. in with? Are you now? Because again, you know, my biggest question has always been point guard. Point guard. Yeah. Like, are where are you with that? And and wh- how far has Ty Rogers come since the beginning of the season? Do you feel better about that? Like, are you are you ready to tell me, hey, you're out of your mind here? Um, no. Ty Rogers has has played well. You know, he's kind of like fluctuated in what he's. He's had games where he's a just unbelievable rebounding. He's had games where he's scored. He's had games where he's only played eight minutes. You know, he's kind of up and down. Their, their lineup is fascinating right now because Rogers' minutes fluctuate. Luke Goody has gone from starting to playing. Like, he played nine minutes at Maryland. Uh, Justin Harmon gave good minutes, and he struggled. I I still – that's a concern to me. I, I mean, it's a non-traditional team. They've They've had times where it's fine. They've had times where I think you could maybe blame the late game struggles on the fact that they don't have a traditional point guard to get them into things. Um, but I think they're talented and I, I think they've got guards that can go and that, that can take you a long way. Yeah. I mean, I've come around on them. Um, yeah. You were saying they weren't going to make the tournament for a while. I said, if they didn't have Shannon, they they would, if you sure. took the body of work without Terrence Shannon for the rest of the season, if he didn't come, come back, they would have been a, a, a fringe tournament team. That's but they I, also did a pretty I good job without him. They I, they did a pretty – I mean, they – what? They lost at Purdue. Yeah, they had a big they win against North, They beat Northwestern by a million. Right. They beat Michigan State. They they still had some good wins without him. Yeah, again, I think they would have been 500-ish in the league without him if you had gone through the the entire Big Ten slate. So maybe, a, maybe a game or two above. Well, that's – right now, if you say that about any team in the Big Ten – Unless you no, beat that's Purdue. true, and and the Florida Atlantic win looks kind of worse by the day, and they didn't. None of their other wins were all that impressive in the non-conference. 